So I've done one of these videos before, but since I was recording the other two videos, I figured I might as well do this one, where we're going to test both AT&T lines at the same time. We hit the 14 and the iPhone SC. Because last time we did it with the A52 5G, and then we did the iPhone SE, I think. And then we had the A13 5G, I think we had with us too. But this time, both AT&T lines, postpaid lines, deprioritize. So the iPhone SE got 185 down, 42 pin, 5 jitter, and I'm going to say that's probably going to be about 26 on the up. 25, 26, closer to 26. And then the iPhone 14 Pro here, we got 248 down, 16.7 up, 39 ching and 6 pit. Let me try that again. 39 ping and 6 jitter. So, you know, versus that last video I did with the Galaxy and my personal iPhone, AT&T seems to handle, you know, multiple speed test or you know um what am i trying to say a load on the network they can handle it better than verizon which is why i'm probably gonna move my personal line over to verizon but yeah it's not bad i figure it would be a little bit more fair this time since we have like a more premium device more versus more like a budget device versus last time where we had just a bunch of budget devices i don't know maybe i won't even post this video but we got 146 down 24.6 up 39 ping and 16 jitter on the iphone sc and on the 14 pro we got 44 down and uh 18 jitter with 282 down 17 up so at and is not doing bad but too bad verizon is that's all i can say but thanks for watching i'll see you guys in the next one